Justin is uh, the, the newest member of the club. We want to welcome you. We want to let you know you're joining a very elite group of individuals who put their minds and hearts together, not just in Thomasville, not just in North Carolina, but throughout the world to make a difference that no other organization is capable to do. So with Polio Plus, with CART, with other um, uh, initiatives that the that the uh, organization has. We want to welcome you and invite you to put your best foot forward and make the difference that you can and uh, create a bond with all of the other road areas. So if you will, join me in welcoming Weston Fisher as our latest member. Now you get to do your three minute bye. So one of my strengths is not uh, talking about myself, so I'll do my best down here in case uh, my mind went blank when I stood up here. Um, I was born and raised here in Davidson County, North Carolina. Um, went to Ledford High School, so I definitely have some pain to pride um, um, inside here. Um, I consider myself an avid fisherman. I really enjoy all kinds of fishing, saltwater, freshwater, fly fishing. Uh, just really enjoy getting out there, whether it be with friends or family or even just by myself. So it's just something I really enjoy. I'm also very passionate about sports. Um, I actually played two years of college sports at SU, and I played soccer, basketball, and football while I was there. Um, after the two years, I decided to take some time off and serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, I served in Chile, Santiago, uh, South America. Uh, there I learned to read, write, and speak fluently in Spanish, but more importantly, for my fellow man. Uh, it was an eye-opening experience for me. Some parts of Chile are not unlike here in the U.S., um, but others are truly made me feel as if I were in a third world country. <clears throat> Serving and teaching about Christ and his gospel truly changed my perspective on life uh, to be more focused on the things that truly matter to me. Upon returning home, my new focus was to uh, to focus on building a family, preparing to provide for them, uh, and putting ourselves in a position to get back. Um, so when I got back, I gave up sports and transferred to Virginia University to focus a little more on education um, and my future. Um, I graduated with a degree in business management from the Marriott School of Management. Um, while I was there, I met and married my beautiful wife of going on almost nine years now. Um, I think it, it definitely helped that at the time I was working part-time for a chocolate factory. <laughs> um, I have unlimited access to free troubles. Um, <laughs> out of few holes, I think. Um, but either way, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to say I married up. Uh, so I'm really blessed um, to have her. Uh, Camille is also a North Carolina native. Uh, she's from Salisbury, North Carolina. <coughs> so after we graduated, we moved back home uh, to start work and building a family. Pretty quickly, I found uh, a company that matched my career and my focus. At BBT, I'm a branch manager at BBT. Uh, I heard some. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, along with helping run the day to day businesses, business of the branch, I also specialize in focusing on helping our small business owners. Um, I actually really love learning about other businesses, what makes them successful, what the pain points are, um, and if there's anything we can do to help. It, it's, it's part of my job. However, um, life threw a little twist uh, at us as we started to build our little family. Uh, turns out we found out that neither, neither of us are completely infertile. Um, however, we did find out it would be pretty difficult for us to conceive. So we tried for several years, didn't have any luck. At times it felt as if there was no hope. Adoption was too expensive um, and not really an option for us at the time. Um, we did learn that infertility is something that a lot of folks struggle with. And there are actually lots of procedures and things available um, to kind of help. And so we tried several of those for a few years, um, still unsuccessful. And we decided to take a break. And then when we decided to take a break from all those procedures, is when we were finally blessed with a child. So the one year old son, Henry Weston Fisher. Um, and he is my friend and joy right now. Just love the one who see him. We only see him on lunch break sometimes. Um, we spend every minute we can with him. Hopefully, we can have many more. Um, but that has also kind of shifted our focus to the third purpose of our lives, which is giving back in that property here at Rotary. Very 
excited to be here. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about uh, Tom's whole brother.